Alright, welcome back. Uh, yeah, extreme cosplay, that's what we're doing, and we're following these tracks. On a hill, which stands silent as a grave. Yeah, you're not being quiet. I told you to be quiet last time. Okay. I, I turned my colorblind feature back off. I also, well... Must have been here he broke his legs. Fell while climbing over the wall. Trying to leave the property, probably, after he didn't manage to open the gate. I, I turned off seeing the undiscovered locations on the map, because that seems like it'd be more fun. And they'll appear when I need, when I see them and disappear again when I finish them, so... Alright, I need Ard. Oh! Oh. I expected the door to fly apart in pieces, not do whatever it is it did. Investigate the estate grounds Damn using it. your Witcher sense. Good God! God damn it, you just had to accompany me, didn't you? Burned alive. Really high temperature at work here. Leviota, thou art my defender and protector. Thou bringest good news. You're supposed to stay quiet, Gaston. What the hell's this? Setting for a banquet? It seems so. What's your suspicion? Did none survive? Gods. Would you shut up? Go outside and flex your muscles or something. God damn. Servant. Stabbed to death. Over a dozen blows with a sharp object. Some post-mortem. I cannot believe this is the work of a man. It was a monster, to be sure. It could be a man. Over tableware. Elven engravings. Could be an elf. A dwarf. Could be a number of things, really. Let me just steal all your shit. Or so punctured with great force. Blow pierced hardened steel. Man on the high road. Breastplate was identical. So they're part of the same troop, I suppose? Gross massacred. One mighty blow. Shield along sides old and dented. Sword ceremonial. And shea handiwork, clearly. And shade? Ceremonial bowls. For little sacrifices. Of what? Please, do not say humans. I don't know, dude. If I knew, I would be saying it. Estest? Oh, right, yeah. That's nothing, that's nothing new. Nothing new. If I start developing a French accent, that's gonna be just the end of it. Woo! I'll take your shit. Blood, blood thing. Just examine the thing. Marks. Something catch fire? Explode? Strong stench. Well, that means I'm going to have to follow a smell. Maybe. Or not. Multiple wounds on the body. Oh yeah, there it is. All puncture wounds, but hard to tell what caused them. Victim's human, but the attire's elven. Are you certain? How did he come by it? We've so few non-humans in Tucson. Tucson. Alright. Fled, then dropped to the ground to douse the flames. Didn't manage. Burnt oh. smells growing fainter. Might have been another luckier soul managed to flee. When he said dropped, I thought he meant like from a height, but he probably just meant like stop, dropped, and rolled without the rolling part, scorched. I guess. Wriggled out of it, tossed it, then ran on. Hmm. <gasps> There's a noise. Slenderman? Hello? Perhaps there's no one inside after. I know you're in there. Breathing's loud and clear. Open up. We mean like, no harm. You gave him half a second to respond. Oh, well, I guess he's not here. Great, yeah. Hey, they remain there. What? Re they remain where? Uh, yeah, who are they? Listen, I'm a witcher. I'm here to help you. But if that's gonna happen, you gotta answer some questions first. You mentioned them. Who do you mean? Those... I, I don't know what they were. Spirits? It all occurred of a sudden. We were staging a scene. The, the, the death of paying homage. There was a flash of light that blinded me completely. I heard cries, though saw nothing. Then felt my own robes were in flames. I broke and ran, threw off my doublet, leapt in here, and it shut and locked the door behind me. 
They pounded on the door. I, I, I thought they would get through. I, I thought I was done for, but, but in the end, it, uh, it grew calm. This guy, listening to him talk makes me want to cry. I don't know why. That is so weird. All right, now who are you? Who are you exactly? D Durant Faucher Plamonton de Safaran, Lord of these lands, and Chairman of the Society of Friends of the History of Tutal. <laughs> okay. We Delivered that really well. To mark the anniversary of the Elfin Homage, but something like this. Why it's uh, first? That explains why they were wearing so elven stuff. Acting a scene from the past, somehow unintentionally, you summoned a specter, a Korgorath, or a tube, maybe. What? What now? Why the hell this are you thing? here? You gotta do it again, of course. Are you mad? Would you have this thing kill us? No, I'd kill it, no, dumbass. I don't want it to kill anyone. Precisely why I gotta do my job. Summon it again, whatever it is, and tend to it once and for all. Durand, think I can reenact the pledge? The giving of homage, alone? It was a great, momentous event. The surrender of Tucson's last elfin king. You will need at least... Three individuals. Well, here we go. That explains why he's with me. Uh, rather not, but yeah. Can I count on I you? I know what I'm gonna ask for. Need your help. But I'll understand if you turn me down. No objections? Good. Let's get to work. Start by clearing the corpses. Got some time. Won't start the reenactment before nightfall. Things of this sort are a lot more likely to work after dusk. One last thing, though. My pay. Don't work for free, you know. Understood. Just keep the danger at bay, and I shall be generous. Through and through. That's like one of the first times I've ever heard him, like, be a witcher. Like, hey, dude, I'm not gonna do anything if you don't pay me. At least the way I play it, I've never really noticed I that. stand, or rather, sit in for King Ludovic. I know that name. While you, Witcher, will play the Enche ruler, we must don the costumes. All must be just right. Sure. Oh, right, the okay. The Elven King hosted Ludovic in his own palace upon his own throne, amidst the blinding glow of a plethora of torches. Ah, oh, shit. You know what? I should have noted- I should have noted the level of this thing. Because, you know what? I'm probably going to need Yurden. Here we go. Oh, there's six of them? Interrupt. I'm not interrupting. I'm trying to light the damn thing. Or do you want me to igni you in the face? To Ugh. Ah, okay. Ignite and ignite. Tibetha laid at Lutovic's feet a loaf of binnen and elfin bread. Thus granting humans rule over seat yielding lands. Don't interrupt. Take a loaf of elven bread. Elven bread. In front of the throne. Elven bread. Tibetha filled the ornate ceremonial bowls with elven wine. Gwinoet, the sweetest blood of the land that had been torn from him. Okay, well, I assume that's this. And it goes here. At long last, the Elfin King grasped his sword and shield, thus symbolically passing command of his armies to humans. Uh, oh. Alright. Draw the Elven sword and shield. Does that mean I have to equip them? Uh... Ancient Elven Sword, and uh, where's the sh where where the sh there's the shield. Where do I put the shield? Oh, okay. Elven King, erect in his pride, drew his blade and dropped to his knees, thus acknowledging his final defeat. Music's unusually loud here. Then spake. 
accept huh? your allegiance and shall return in one year's time to What? Ah, look! Look! The statues! Impossible! Gods! Mother! Weird! Oh my god, stop! Whoa! Did I just Holy fucking shit! Alright, I'm using the wrong one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mage! You suck! No! No, 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 no! 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 I can't die! No! Jesus Christ, why is that mage so goddamn powerful? What the fuck? God damn it. I mean, they're, they're level 44. I'm what, level 41? Oh my god. Like, there were only four statues, and I killed one of them already, didn't I? Okay, where's this fucking... Ah, there's two of them. Why are you so strong? No! What the hell am I supposed to do? It also doesn't help that somehow my swallow got activated, so I can't use it to get my 20% health back when I use a potion. Son of a bitch! Why did it use a swallow? I was in the middle of a cutscene! And she's attack- No! I have her targeted! Attack her! God damn it, I'm gonna die again. Because I'm at half health before I even have a chance to fucking fight back! Because these mages are so goddamn strong! Let me try Arg this- LET ME DO SOMETHING, WHY?! This is dumb! I can't- This is stupid! I can't do shit! Fuck. And I locked myself into a corner. No! 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 I guess I- yeah. Okay. Okay. Fuck you! Why? Stop it! Oh, I'm out of swallow! Son of a bitch! God damn it! Fuck you, mages! It doesn't help. I have the I, I, their health bar. I have the health bar, which means I should attack them. But no, I just attack the goddamn male things with the fucking spears, the fucking things. That they're not even a fucking threat. These goddamn mages, whatever the fuck they are. Ah, shit. And I can't even get close to these motherfuckers because they just do that shit. And they teleport away. Fucking great. Let me do something! There we go, there's one. Okay. Fuck you! Alright, you're dead. Sweet. Boom! Ow. Okay. God damn it. Ugh. I missed. Fucking missed. Pathetic. Yeah. Ugh. One dead. Two. God damn it. Ugh. They came alive. By what witchcraft? Dunno. Specialize in killing monsters. Reviving them, not so much. I... 
I may know what happened. The statues, you see, once stood in the palace of one Defethov. I acquired them a month past because uh, perhaps I should start at the beginning. Uh, yeah, you should. This Defethov was to pay tribute to humans, producing statues of this sort each year. Yet he did so but once, for he perished in the massacre of non-humans at the foot of Mount Gorgon in the year 782. It's like 500 it's years ago. It's fortunate he did too, as Tefethev had planned Lutefek's downfall, for he sculpted not statues, but columns that masqueraded as such. Columns activated with words said in homage. And that didn't columns seem that important? Turn the king and his bodyguards into so much colorful confetti. Typical Red confetti. Treachery embodied. Elves. Psh. Humans are... Yeah, humans are no better. You're no better. Elves were just defending their territory. You humans took it, but you still weren't sated. Had to cut the elves down every last one. You? What does that mean? You're a man as we are. Yeah, in a way. Just a shame to have to admit it sometimes. Your words? They're wrong, Witcher. But I'll not let you leave empty-handed. Take this your reward. I would imagine Farewell. humans would have a better capacity to be good, but yeah. All right, well, 300 but three, 300 monies, that's not bad. All right, let's get my shit back. Let's make it morning. I, I noticed that they changed it so 6 a.m. Oh. Well, in Novigrad, when I tried it, 6 a.m. wasn't broad daylight, but you know, okay. All right, now, now that that shit of a mission's over, let's actually go find out what the hell is going on with this war. 42, I'm level 41. Let's, let's, let's spend a point or two. Um, 33% more charges. That's the one I'm going to go with. That's the one I'm going to finish it out with. Uh, that goes where? Here, I guess. Yes, yeah, put it in the hidden slot. All right, that's good. Now, find the, the place mentioned in the letter. Yeah, let's do that. Oh my God, those mages are so fucking stupid. Oh, I still have this ceremonial sword on. Let's change that before I forget to take it off. Oh, could that have been why I did so much? Eh, nah, it's not terrible, it's just not great. All right, well, sure. All right, abandoned storehouse. Give me that money. Anybody here? Door. Locked, okay. Find the place mentioned in the letter. Maybe in this big, huge bush? Ah, no, down here. Search the warehouse using your Witcher sense. Okay. Turn around so I can take this stuff. Uh, okay. They look like they look like landmines. Die! I'll take dies. I'll take everything you have to offer. I'm stealing your shit. Okay. Whoa! 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 Not these fuckers. Take me. Okay. Oh, uh, I guess they were growing these things, weren't they? Just die, Baba! Die, Baba! Well, that was creepy. Huh? Can I? What? Do I have to burn them? Spore saplings. It takes a degenerate to cultivate something like this. Need to incinerate them. Yep, I was right. Spores and spores. Boom! Mission accomplished. All right, what's in here? Uh, stock taking report and a bunch of shit. Whoop! Right, I don't have to open the menu. Uh, Vespin Arc Spore Hatchery, codename Mushroom Farm. Stock under review. 
Number six, whatever important. Some bulbs are now too mature to be safely transported. These should be burned, otherwise they will sprout, sprout in the hatchery. Who proves Count Crespi's behind the sabotage at both vineyards? Gotta tell Matilda and Liam. Who is Crespi? Who is her? Who is her? Um, I guess I'll find out soon enough. I'm not gonna bother with taking the rest of that stuff. Okay, well, that didn't take as much time as I thought. Not nearly as much as the other one. Okay, where... <laughs> where is the nearest signpost so I can get the hell out of here? So I can get up there quicker. Probably over here, I bet. Let's go over there and see. If not, I am gonna be... Uh, it's probably up there, actually, come to... Now that come I notice it. We'll check over here first, anyway. Something wicked here. It's in the air. I can smell it. Uh, ah, uh, damn it. You know what? We're down here. I don't really want to make the trek back. We've been recording 25 minutes. Sure, let's let's go with it. Uh, where's the entrance? This? No. It'd be blue or yellow or something. Oh, I hear. Oh. And... Holy shit! That one moves fast. What now, you? Benchy? Benchy? Ben Ben Benchy. Okay. Oh, skeletons. Hello, skeletons. At least they die in one hit. Alright, you're poof, poof. Alright, this isn't working so well. Thunderbolt! I forget I have Thunderbolt. Dead now. Benchy. That was quite a death scream. Uh. What the hell was that? Okay. Is that all that's here? Just a banshee? Probably French for banshee. Oh, sweet. There was a marker here. Awesome. So we got what we came here for. Or are we... Yeah. Was that right? Was that how you say that? Whatever. I need to find this cave. Because that couldn't have been it, right? Had to have been more to it than that. Or is this maybe somewhere where I come back later for a quest? What's up, Roach? Calm down. Uh, I... Yeah, I think this is somewhere where I come back later. Alright, well, let's... Let's Move head it. on over and talk to Liam and, Liam and Matilda. Hopefully we can keep them from, like, beating the shit out of each other or something. Bloody places! Calm down! Dudes, I'm just running into town! Drink! Why drink you... Drink. Why you gotta be all uppity? Yo! Ah! <laughs> Uh, Master Witcher, have you any news? I know the saboteur's identity. Uh, first let's let's hear about this vineyard this we're vineyard about to acquire. Guard. Why is it so valuable? <laughs> you are not from here. It certainly shows. No shit, Before Sherlock. Count Crespi fell prey to the beast. Belgard belonged to him. As a man of wealth and influence, he guided it to immense success. Brought in rare grape varieties. Hired skilled workers. I shan't trouble you with unnecessary details. Suffice to say that merging Belgard with another vineyard is a sure recipe for success. Okay, so the previous owner of Belgard is sabotaging the other two. But to what end exactly? Like, does he just not want... Like, if he, if he had to sell it to the bank because he foreclosed, basically, then why, why would he... I don't get it. Would he sabotage them just so neither of them could get it? Is this like a torch and burn or something? I don't know. When the same man caused Coronado's and Vermentino's problems. Got proof. A certain Count Crespi. He's at the root of it all. What, Crespi? Belgard's erstwhile owner? Why, that's impossible. Got it all here, in writing. He did indeed have motive. 
He knew well his own vineyard could not survive if Vermentino and Coronata were- It's not his anymore anyway, is it? Probably why he incited the feud. Pulled it off, too, mostly. Just failed to bring his plan to completion when the beast got him. Incredible. You mean to say- Oh, 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 oh okay. It wasn't Liam. And I was certain my troubles were Matilda's doing. <clears throat> In light of new evidence, uh... The most just resolution would be for both injured parties to share oversight of Belgard. Wait just a minute. Do you mean to suggest we're to cooperate? It's yeah, the optimal dumbass. solution, yes. In terms of the health of the Enterprise as well. Hmm. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I do believe he's right. Perhaps it is time to bury the hatchet. Three yeah. vineyards are more than one. There's much to be gained. So be it. She's also kind of into him. The troubles at your vineyards? Solve them. You can go back to operating normally now. Splendid news. I'm relieved to see you hired a professional, especially one whose aid might still prove invaluable. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Follow me. It's high time you saw Belgard. Witcher, come with us, please. Something tells me we'll have tasks for you yet. I gotta say, she's kind of ugly. All right, let's go to Belgard. All right, let's go. <clears throat> My desire for Belgard to pass into capable hands was no idle whim, for the vineyard's fallen upon hard times since its previous owner's demise. I've been told of workers dying on their rounds, monsters prowling about. Before anyone can call this home, they will have to deal with these um, inconveniences. That is the minister's wish. More work for me, I guess. If you're willing, we'll gladly accept your help. If you pay me. <laughs> Let's talk about this help. pay. Sure, but I won't work for free. So, are they both going to pay me? Ooh. All right, let's try a thousand. Whoop, a thousand and one. Uh, enter. Fine. We yeah! have a deal. I always feel like I could get more, but at the same time, it's enough. Sure, I'll help. It's a thousand or bucks gold, man. Agreed, I guess. That's a weight off my chest, I must say. Your reward shall be fair, I promise. I'll get to work. I hate that you can see neck seams. You can see the seam where, like, the head is, like, changed from body to body. It's kind of annoying. Okay, well, I guess we're... S s um, yeah, I guess we're solving these problems, too. Bloop! Oh, that was a little bit further of a drop than I was expecting. Hey, I got the crowns for them. Sweet! No, I don't. Uh, shit. I don't know. It's been been recording 32 minutes, and I don't think much of it's gonna be cut. Um. Oof, the look of a night. Over there, monsters have come. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Eh, yeah, I'll I'll do these next time. Uh, thank you for watching, as always. So, um, yeah. Yeah, until next time, hey, I'll just let these. Back. Help us! Look, monsters all about! I'll just let these peasants be afraid for a while. It could do them some good. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. I don't care, I'm not picky. If you have something else you want to say that's more complicated than that, you can leave a comment. And if you want to see more stuff, you can subscribe. To check out my Hearts of Stone playthrough, the previous Witcher 3 expansion, check the video up top. And for something different but still RPG related, check out Twilight Princess HD on the bottom. Oh no, the Boar King or whatever he is.